since uh, maybe two, two and a half, two and a half, two years, I guess. <coughs> two and a half? Two and a half. Uh, it's two years old. Well, it's, it's not the ones from the one that had the mother that's dead. Awesome. It's no, different. no, no, no. Different this family. is different now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is different. Okay, so we just ar arrived in camp uh, about 45 minutes ago. <coughs> and uh, who spotted it? Gorgeous one. Gorgeous. And yeah, he's, nice he's car, known man. as an eagle eye. I, uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we've got a mom and two snow leopard cubs staring down at us, just watching. As if they're happy we're here from the top of the ridge. This is a really good omen for an amazing trip. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. How did you, how did you see him up there? So I was just scanning and then suddenly... <laughs> Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah. And he Possibly like, the most impressive thing I've ever seen I mean, in one spot know, I, in my life. Uh, I hope, you know, to it do something. Like a, it's, yeah. It's well, we already you know, saw an yeah. Ibex, Uriel, yeah. Blue yeah. Sheep. I mean, Blue we sheep. already had a great day, yeah. but he yeah. yeah. needed it. Wow. Yeah. And his sixth sense, really, like, you know, he said, like, he just like, feeling, feeling, you know, like, feeling like, uh, you know. You can just, like, <clears throat> like it, you just feel maybe like maybe there's one watching. Maybe somewhere there. Wow. That's okay, so um, we're uh, in camp here looking for, well, we see a snow leopard uh, sleeping up on a rock, so we're just kind of hanging out waiting for it to move. Um, and uh, it was spotted by Dorje, who was getting, has the reputation of having the best eyes of all the spotters. And the snow leopard spotters in Hemis probably have the best eyes of any wildlife spotters in the world. So this is Dorje right here who spotted this leopard. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm Dorje Stanzin. My name is Dorje Stanzin. I'm from Skew Village in the National Park. So since I last uh, 15 years, uh, we work with the Snow Leopard Conservancy. Huh. And then after that, I work with the, uh, I mean, a spotter, like, yeah. You're a spotter for the people that come to Hemis National yes, Park? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. For how long? For here? Uh, so ten, 10 years before. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. You must have seen uh, amazing things over the ten years. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Do you do you enjoy it? Yeah, I'm enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the snow leopards and how about um, how happy people get? It must make you feel really good when you when we first got to camp. You looked up there, and then how did you see how happy everybody was? You yeah, made people was, very happy. Yeah, everybody is happy. Yeah. So even in, I'm also happy, happy for that. <laughs> so in the first day, and then first day we had a half an hour after that, we spot the snow leopard and yeah. mother and cubs. Wow. So yes, it's, we are very happy. I mean, you make people's dreams come true. Yes. Yes. Like some people like that are love wildlife, like myself and, and the guys that I brought up, it's a fantasy. An amazing yeah, fantasy. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's something that you dream about since you were little, like a, a small child like me. And then, you know, you can just, you make that dream happen. Because uh, if it weren't for you, the skill that you have, we could sit here all week and not have ever seen one snow leopard. But the only reason we've seen nine is because you guys work so hard, always searching for 10 hours a day. Yes. And then you're also really good at it. Yes. I mean, I could look in the scope up there and I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. But, <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted, I, I appreciate what you guys do. It's amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. We have pleasure. You're going to teach some uh, younger generations? Uh, yes. Yeah. Teach some younger guys also how to do this and yeah, yeah. it can yeah. be a really good, yeah. amazing job. Yeah. yeah. If I was a Ladakhi, this is, would be my dream job. Thank you. Yeah. But I can't do it because I'm not Ladakhi. I can't live up here like you can. I can't run up the mountain, <laughs> up and down, and I can't. I don't have the same vision that you have. So, cool. Well, nice job. You. Um, Thank you. Yep. Thank you, sir. Couldn't do it without you for sure. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Because she got a cups with him, and then sometimes other snow leopards, especially males, can be dangerous for the cups. So sure. She will never let encounter. Yeah. And will try to move away from. Yeah, to drink young gallas on You're the message of science. What about wolves, too? I mean, she left her cubs to go um, try to make a kill. The wolves would take the cubs and kill them, wouldn't they? She will uh, 
live in a place where she can keep see. eye on. Okay. Yeah. Be able to yeah. have hunt and still see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's a very difficult job, huh? Yeah, not hunting, but you know, she will try to keep it in a place where she can keep eye on them. Yes. Not especially when it's hunting. Yeah. But you know, at least she can keep it. So if the wolves came up to where the cubs were, she would go try to fight the wolves. Yeah. And then also, I think uh, the especially the cubs, they now might have learned, you know, to how to uh, escape. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. They will go in a place like too steep for too the wolf. Too steep, yes, for yeah. the wolf to right. climb. <laughs> wolf don't like the uh, the broken and rugged cliffs. Yeah. So they always try to run on the rollings. So they will not go in that kind of the cliffs to sure, that keep makes the sense. cubs here. Yeah. Amazing animals, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Today it's very beautiful, looking beautiful in the. The golden morning light. Yeah. It's beautiful, yes. And then you can see, see the contrast of the skyline, sky in the background. Yeah. Sitting on a rock. It's very beautiful. It is. Yeah. Must be warming up up there for him. Yeah. In the sun. Yeah. Again, like I said last year, it's just so cool to be here with you and, 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 and the other team. Yeah. It's just, it makes, it's like uh, actually the highlight yeah. of the, it's just being here with you guys. Just. Yeah, it's our pleasure that, you know. It, I just uh, feel so honored. Yeah, it's our pleasure. And yeah, it's it's also good that people keep coming to these places and begin to appreciate these animals. It's going to be helping a lot in the conservation. Mm -hmm. Because uh, people's uh, attitudes towards these animals, the local people's attitudes is changing because yeah. they're realizing the importance because people come to see these animals from far from the all around the world. Sure. And then that's bringing this sort of alternate income to them. So that's a, you know, it's a win-win for both yeah. animals and the people. So, yeah, coming, keep coming people to this remote, uh, this valley, valley is very important to keep these animals alive. Yeah. yeah. And it's, <coughs> the snow leopard is great because it's um, umbrella species. Yeah. So yes. you have to have the blue sheep and you have to have all the, the different plants and you have to take care of the whole wilderness and big areas. Yes. Not just uh, preserve for just maybe the partridge. It would be pretty easy. But the yeah. snow leopard forces you to yeah, uh, intact preserve. wilderness, the whole ecosystem, right? That's true, yes. That's, yeah. Keep a wild place wild. <laughs>